Hi folks, here we are back again in Jimmy's unit. We're gonna try and strip the electrics out of the Reliant Regal today, so that's today's job. See you in a minute. Right, well I've not been down here for about three or four weeks now and I've still got the odd little bit just to rub down around the front lights and uh, just on the insert of the bonnet there but um, I probably may or may not get that done today. What I'm going to concentrate on today is the electrics. I want to get the electrics out. I don't know what condition the loom is in and all the connectors and all that so I thought the best way to deal with that would be to strip it all out and lay it on a bench somewhere where we can actually do a look at it and if I need to renew any wires where they've got brittle or any connectors, I can do all that in the luxury of the open space instead of in the bonnet area where most of the stuff is. So I'm gonna take the clocks out as well and all the dashboard layout and stuff like that. That's all uh, got wires plugged on the back of it. So let's get on with it. Let's see what we've got to put up with. Right, okay, so if we look in here, we haven't got much in the way of switch gear or electrics in here. Uh, we've got the indicator stalk. We've got the clocks there. We've also got an amp meter and the ignition key and just a small panel of switches down there. Uh, you probably can't see it, but down in the footwell there, we've also got the uh, the main beam and dip beam light. That's just a, a, a load of cables that come through and up through the bulkhead. So I've got to disconnect that. And as you can probably see under the hood here, a few components which are actually bolted down inside the, the uh, hood area, straight onto the back of the actual instrument panel as well there. I don't know if you can see that all that well, but uh, and then we've got a couple of looms that just sort of hang down in the bonnet area. So I'm going to probably have to start undoing some of these components in there and I think it might be easier if I actually get in here sitting in this open engine area so we'll get the front lifted up and I'll sit in here. Right, okay then, so we've got off the main, is that either a voltage regulator or a fuse box, one of the two. So we've got this little auxiliary fuse box off there. We've got the coil or condenser off. We've got a solenoid off there. All we've got to do now, I've got to get in here now, in this area here, and try and disconnect the cables at the back there. I want to take the picture of all this lot as well in there, just to make sure that we know where things go back even though we've got a wiring diagram probably, so I'll get the boys to lift the car up and get me inside and then we'll take it from there. Right, time for me to get underneath. Okay. If I can't get in there. Right, 
for those of you who are not familiar with the underneath of a Reliant Regal, there we go. I've got that chair just sitting underneath there, coming around the driver's side. There's our two uh, main pedals going through. The wiring loom fixes uh, on the top of that top level up there, as you can probably see. Um, when we turn it over, we'll be able to clean all this off and give it a good uh, sorting out. But I've got to crawl under this gap here now, into the middle, and uh, we'll start disconnecting the dashboard. A little, yeah. I need the pliers in there. Okay, a little amp meter. In fact, if I take them cables off of the back of the amp meter, that's it. That one goes to that side of the solenoid. If you can see that, that's the one on the right, and the other one, that one at the back there goes onto that little connector, which obviously goes over to the battery, I would have thought. I know what it feels like to be a 600 engine. As you can probably see there now, that's the back of the clocks. And I'm sitting in where the engine goes. I don't know if you can see me on camera or not. But uh, everything is nearly off. It looks like there's four bolts that hold the clock mechanism in. And a bracket. And the final one which I can't actually see, and you probably can. It's up here somewhere. Is that it there? Hold on. Right, now the wires are still connected to that, Jimmy. So just pull it towards you for a minute and try and feed it. You can't feed it through this hole, can you? So it comes back into meat. Maybe by tipping it at an angle or something. Hold on, try turning it over. No? If not, we'll have to pull the, pull the... Hopefully the wiring diagram will be able to tell us where they go. So if I pull them out one by one... All off? Right. I should have the blinky youngsters under here doing this. Oh. Right, okay then. Look at the state of me, look. Look how clean they are. Unbelievable. Right, hopefully then that means that the loom can come right the way out now. We're gonna try and get it right the way out and lay it out on the table and see what we got. So, there we go. There's our loom, complete with all the accessories. There is a, a subsidiary loom which just goes down and does the back lights. We've already disconnected that when I started the strip down. So this is your main part now. This can all be uh, checked over. All the connections can be checked and all that. Any things like the starter solenoid there can be replaced. Um, maybe flasher unit as well, stuff like that. But all the indicator bulbs, everything will get serviced and uh, we should hopefully be as good as new when we can't put it all back together. There's the other main things which we got there, which are the uh, speedo clocks. And as you can see, there's not much to them whatsoever. So I'm gonna strip all these down as well, give them a, a, a service and uh, a repaint as well. So hopefully all this lot should look good as new uh, when we come to refit it again. But that's a lot further down the line. I've got a lot more to do now. So as you know, all I've got now is just these bits around the headlights to do there. A little bit on the inside of the bonnet there. And we're good to go for flipping this thing upside down and starting all the bodywork and uh, doing all the fiberglass repairs. So that's the next video. Uh, hopefully it'll be pretty soon. And we'll see you again in the next video. And until then, Bye for now.